how to split an image into uh, two, down the middle or across, obviously, the other way as well, in Illustrator 2021 or 2020, etc. Now, the first thing to do, I'm going to use artboards in this as well. So I've opened an image, so it's just simply file and open. So I've got this cat design, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the properties. That's a useful one there, properties. And if I go over to the artboard tool, you can see every document that's got an artboard. Now with this, this is artboard one, you can rename it. I'm just going to call it cat one. Don't have to, of course, but cat one, so. And then also I'm going to turn this off. So you can see quite often the default is that's on. Turn that off so it's completely clear there. Now what I want to do is I want to have that artboard fill the entire document. It doesn't do it by default. So what you need to do is object menu and go down to artboards and fit to artboards. So that's fit to artboards. Also useful, now you can see it's all the way through there. What you can do is view, make certain smart guides are on. Smart guides are on means you just click into place. Also, you've got here snap to grid, etc. All those are turned off in here. So you've got this now all the way around this artboard. I want two artboards. I want artboard one and I want artboard two. And what I can do is I can resize. I've got these properties here. So what I can go over to the width. Obviously, if I was doing height, it would, I'd do. But you can enter the value or you can type in 50%. So 50%. So you've got now this cat one over that side. Well, I'm going to create another artboard. So I've got the artboard tool selected. You can see the artboard there. Just click over it. You can see as you click it, you can see the guides there. And just actually sometimes you look at it and you think, oh, is it actually, and it is, it's actually is selected, just even though they're not highlighted every time. And it clicks down there and it'll snap. So you've got now two artboards. That's all you've got. And this one I'm called, weirdly, it's called not it's called artboard three, or anyway, has a mind of its own, what it calls. So cat underscore two. So you've got two cats, <laughs> obviously two artboards with those cats. Now, what you can do then is you can go to File and Export, and you can export for screens. And you can see straight away you've got that side of the cat and that side of the cat. Now, you can deselect that if you don't want to have one half. So if you just want that half of the cat, you can just say Cat 2. Now, I have noticed occasionally it seems to go weird where it actually puts the whole image out. So you might have to go back to it, do it again, maybe create another artboard for the first half. And that's weird, but I have noticed during running through this testing that it just seems to put the whole image out sometimes. However, just select, select that. Now I'm going to put it to my desktop. I'm going to create a subfolder, and it's going to be in a folder 1x, or 1 times. Export artboard. So then you can see it. It's done there. And obviously I did it in a test run. You can see my early ones and this one is the later one so cat one and cat two so you've exported both half of the cats they've been split in two and of course i could have done the same i'm just going to close that now could go back there to artboard so i don't want to do the other half so again what you can do with that let's just i can resize that and i can go to the other one of course and i can resize it the other way now this is slightly more fiddly because it oh, snaps there and snaps there and that should snap again. They should all snap. Now if you end up, sometimes you can end up with a little bit of white slither uh, where it doesn't snap exactly correctly. But it should snap correctly and it goes down there and snap correctly there. Now, well of course, don't want that. I want it both half. So can you just see there, Just it just jumps a bit forward. And just drag that over there. So you've got now, of course, I'm doing it the other way. This is just to quickly show you can do it the other way. And obviously I'll call that cat top. And it goes there, cat, weirdly, bottom. So you've got that and that. And what you can do, file and export. And again, export. Now you could also, of course, use, with that selected, save for web. So I could use that. So save for web is another option. So save for web. And you can see it's selected that bottom half. And then I can save that. You can do that, perfectly reasonable. But you can also do, of course, as before, file and export, export for screens. And you can see, and you can deselect one or deselect the other, perfectly reasonable as well. And you can see the top half and the bottom half. 
there of your cat. And again, you will be putting it to the 1x and subfolder on desktop. Of course, it already exists. So export artboard. And again, you've got that. And you can see cat bottom and cat top. So that's a quick way to do it. I'm certain that, please put some comments in the uh, comments fields just to say, well, you know, it's easier if you do, you know, maybe use the crop tool or you can use some other option. I'm quite certain. But this is just a way of showing with artboards how to do it with artboards. And I think artboards are quite useful for that. And of course, you can save to other formats, etc. You know, maybe PDF documents and all those sort of things, if that's what you want to do as well. So very simple, file and export, export for screens, and you can save them, these exported. And of course, you can use more than just these two. You can, of course, create other artboards for both directions. Or unfortunately, you can't do it across the other way. There's no artboard that sort of splits it in like diagonally. That'd be cool. But there's no diagonal artboard feature. It's just squares, unfortunately. Or circles would be nice as well. But again, that's not available. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always had new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, uh, Affinity Photo from Designer, Critter, Painter, Rebel, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. What have I done right? What have I done wrong? What things didn't I explain particularly well? Maybe there was something you found confusing. I will do it again or we'll go through it. Maybe try and be very clear on certain features. Also, if you know some other way of doing it that you think, you know what, it'd be easier if you did it this way. Why aren't you doing it this way? Please, please add that comment. Always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.